All right, guys, so this is what I'm bringing with me on the PCT. Um, everything I go over, there should be a lighter packs link in the description below. You can click on that. It should kind of have links to everything. So if you're more interested about a specific item, you can go over that. I apologize in advance. It's going to be kind of a, a longer video, but it's the nature of the gear video. So starting off with the stuff that kind of goes on the outside of the pack, we have my butt pad. It's a Mountain Laurels Design, 1 8 inch thin light pad here. It's my height. I can set it under my pad. I can take it off and sit on it. Everyone kind of knows what butt pads for, but specifically I got my length so I can cowboy camp with it under my pad to keep my pad from getting holes and stuff in it if I want. So next we have the backpack. I have the uh, Hyperlight Mountain Gear Southwest, uh, 3400 Southwest, Junction, sorry, Junction. Um, very good pack, liked it, loved it so far. And it, much extra space if you need for the bigger hauls and packs down nice and small for the smaller ones. Next we have the stuff that's Sierra area specific only. So we have of course the Camp Corsica Ice Axe, um, very popular, everyone kind of knows this model, very light, effective. We have the Bear Canister, we have, I'm doing the BV500, carry a lot of food, want to make sure it's all fits. We have the Cthulhu Micro Spikes, and these just kind of snap on the bottom of my uh, hiking shoes for extra traction. And this stuff I'll be picking up probably around Kennedy Meadows. Next, we have my hiking poles. Uh, they're aluminum just trail buddy poles, I have some Luca tape around them, and I need these to set up my tent because I have a freestanding tent. Plus, I hike with poles as well. So, aluminum poles. Then we have luxury item of the camp sandals, the bedrock camp sandals. Uh, big sandals guy, so I gotta have my camp sandals. I like to let my feet breathe if I can. So next we have the Nightcore headlamp. Everyone's pretty familiar with this, plus the shock cord modification. Um, this is for weight, obviously, but mainly because I like it to pack up small because I put it in the hip belt pocket. So that's always handy. We have this, which I keep strapped on the outside and the front, which is a tripod. And I use this to uh, for the phone to kind of record and help me assist in all this kind of stuff when I'm by myself. We have the Garmin InReach Mini, a very important, I believe. Um, we've even used this once before to help somebody else who was in need. So I'll be carrying this um, and a bandana to you know wipe sweat or whatever I want. And then so all that stuff will mostly just all kind of be strapped on the outside along with my rain jacket. We have our water bottles. I'm going to be carrying just the typical smart water bottles with the sports caps. Uh, the one modification I did different that most people, I guess, probably unique, is I like to have this little jug water bottle knot. Um, so what I do is when I want to do a bear hang, instead of carrying a rock or finding a rock, I just I loop my bear thing through this. With a little water in it at all, it swings up nice and over nice and easy. So I use that. We have a uh, platypus collapsible water bottle and my Be Free three liter bag water bottle filter. So this filters all my water. Um, all together, I can carry about seven liters of water with this setup and all this pretty much is easy accessible at any time. Also on the outside of my pack, we have my poop kit. So we got some hand sandy, the uh, bidet that kind of goes in the water bottle when water is not scarce, of course. Do some spades trowel and some and uh, some wipes and of course a, a dark bag to uh, store everything in and to pack out anything I might use. Um, I have tons of doggy bags that just use that because of course my hiking buddy so I have lots of these left over for when I hike with him. In my electronics bag I keep everything in kind of a dry bag. It's also my ditty bag. Just everything kind of goes in here together. We have electronics. It's a 20,000 milliamp charger. Charge everything. Fast charge. We have I'm blind, so contacts case, just a little small bottle of solution that's refillable, a couple extra contacts and a case, and I can refill those at stops if I need be. My straight ditty bag, um, all the typical stuff, just kind of sunblock toothpaste, some dehydrated soap, uh, very nice, and um, I think one thing a little bit different just because of this section that I wouldn't normally carry is some tablets, uh, some like the tablets to purify water. Some of the water at the beginning might be a little sketchy, so not only will I filter it, I'll also hit it with that if I feel I need to. And then gear repair kit. 
So this has all the different kind of different patches and different seam tapes and things that I might ever need for any of the particular gear that I carry. Um, a marker, some needle and thread, um, and I also have the little Swiss Army knife. That's the only knife I carry. I find it's enough. It has the scissors, a knife, little tweezers for ticks, anything I might need on there. And we have my homemade first aid kit. Um, it has everything you could possibly really need in here. Um, uh, you know, Q-tips, all the different pills. Also has all my permits and stuff, some safety pin for blister popping, and you know, that kind of stuff. And then we have bear line. Uh, we have for me, uh, another luxury item, I guess, luxury item number two maybe, is I am taking with me a little air pump. So this actually blows up my air mattress and my pillow. I'm a big guy, I have big mattress, big pillow, and this keep lets me be lazy. It works pretty well, and I also have a modification in my tent at the top. This can hang up there and it has a little light on it. So kind of a luxury item extra that I enjoy. It's pretty light, weighs like 2.3 ounces. And last but not least, wireless headphones. I like my music, I'm audible, so have that. Next we'll go into the my cook kit. Inside here we have the rag, scrub rag to clean everything, kind of a Brillo pad thing to it. Big mini lighter to light the stove. The little mini stove, BRS stove that goes on there. Pretty popular, most people know about that already. Um, the canister. I have this to kind of keep this from rusting on the end of the inside of the pot. And then I actually have a little homemade windscreen that I use to kind of help keep the flame working right. And my pot, I like my pot to have this little upper handle in case I want to use a real fire. Sometimes I like using it on a real fire. You can see kind of black patina and that way I can hang it over the fire with that. Moving on, we have my duplex Z-Fax tent and very popular. Everyone probably knows about that by now. We also have, I like to use the uh, MSR Groundhog sticks. They're very strong. Uh, it gets windy around here sometimes. But I do, for the optional extra tie-outs, I use the uh, like a little titanium shepherd hooks for those. Thermarest pad. I'm a tall guy. I have the big tall pad. Um, we have an uh, inflatable pillow. Obviously another luxury item here. But um, I'm a side sleeper, so... Um, having that extra padding is nice for me. Then we have my sleeping bag, part of my sleep system here. Um, this is the Magma Men's 15 and uh, the down sleeping bag. And I keep it in kind of a, a nylon thing that I can kind of wrap up and tie so I can make sure that it never gets wet at the bottom of the pack. Kind of some redundancy there. Next we have my Hilltop Bags food pack and I'll kind of go over the food that I'm going to do uh, after this. And then we have all my clothes in the clothes um, dry bag, and I'll go over that as well. Oh, this is the food I'm taking. Uh, inside my wonderful Hilltops pack, I will have my semi-smell-proof bag with my spork. And for my food, generally, my thought process is variety. So as you can see, I have quite the variety. Um, I have a few fancy dehydrated dinners for night. I have, you know, some like the Nora pasta side, some instant mashed potatoes, some tuna packets and stuff to spice those up. Can't forget the uh, spicy Taco Bell hot spices to also add to that. Um, for lunch and stuff, we usually do kind of like a tortilla, some peanut butter, maybe a little bit of honey, um, lots of snacks. We've got some mixed medley nuts stuff, some cliff bars, um, all this stuff does pretty well in the heat, so that's kind of why it's chosen as well. Uh, payday bars, Jolly Ranchers, Can't Forget Nerds, I like my candy. Um, so all of this stuff gets kind of repackaged in the freezer bags so that I can pour really hot water in them to help hydrate and do all that if I want. And then all the candy and stuff like that get repackaged into the tiny little sandwich bags. So my first free supply is kind of an example. We have repackaged labeled how much water of course very important because you know how you have the instructions so you know what it is and how much water kind of got a little bit of all my stuff that you saw earlier just kind of to go small assortment and that goes in the kind of smelly bag smell proof bag and then in the, the food bag so in my shoes i have the super feet carbon insoles uh, i do feel like they've been helping me a lot 
and I'll get the rest of the gear out spread out here and we'll go over it too. So inside my clothes bag, starting over here, we have my start sleet system. Um, I've got a kind of icebreaker wool t-shirt, uh, very lightweight. I have the Patagonia Nine Trails shorts. Uh, I like these a lot. They are all zippered pockets, so nothing falls out. They have a liner, so no underwear with these ones. Then we have what I'm going to start hiking in while we have lots of sun. So I have the Silver Ridge Columbia pants. These are the ones without the zippered knees because I never convert. Um, we have our pair of REI underwear, very comfortable, synthetic. And we have the Outdoor Research Sun hoodie and super good there. Every All this stuff, uh, not the underwear, is treated with Promethean, so help with the bugs. Uh, the shoes are starting with Brooks Ghost running shoes, kind of trail running shoes. These are what I'm used to. This is what I'm going to use. Um, I kind of have modified them a little bit so I could add on my uh, gaiters. Um, the socks that I like to hike in are the Njinji toe socks. So this is kind of the mid-weight. I have a backup pair of those and then if for whatever reasons these are rubbing me wrong and whatnot I want to switch, I have the Njinji toe sock liners with a pair of darn toughs. Extra socks but very important. We have the buff. Everyone knows all about buffs but I've got mine. Outdoor Research Sun Gloves. Extra pair of underwear. We have, starting again in the cold gear here, we have the out, the Mountain Hardware um, gloves. So they're touch screen compatible. We have very small, thin, kind of icebreaker uh, hat. Um, it, it's very warm, but super light, not much to it, but it layers with everything in the hoods. And then we have uh, waterproof socks, the seal skins. So it's kind of more obviously for the Sierra section. They just kind of post hole on slushy snow and stuff like that, help keep your feet dry since Obviously my shoes are for us. And then we have these down booties, bring these. Uh, my sleeping bag isn't super cold rated, but my feet are usually the only thing that ever get cold, so pop these bad boys on and all of a sudden I can I can handle some pretty cold temperatures. So we have the uh, rain gear. I like the uh, Montbell jacket here. I like this a lot. Um, it's got huge pit zips, very important when you're hiking. And it packs down real small into the bag. And then we also have the rain pants. Uh, these aren't so much for the rain. This is just an extra layer for warmth or for whatever I want, but I'll have them. I got them if I want them. And then we have the down synthetic jacket, in case I want to hike in it. Went synthetic, it's very comfortable. And um, we have, last but not least, an Alpaca Appalachian Gear Company hoodie. So pretty lightweight, very comfortable. This will probably be in the more when it's cooler in the edge, the edge times. I'll probably wear this a lot. Also have a bug net to help with the bugs. You can kind of put this over with the ball cap, keep it out of your face, keep the bugs away, and it helps in the situations where they get really bad. Okay, so this is all my gear packed up. This is how it looks. Um, we've got the sandals, the water filter, the poop kit, everything really easily accessible. Uh, we've got extra water bottle on the side, rag easy accessible for wiping whatever extra water bottle on this side, hiking poles go here and if I'm not using them, most of the time I use them. In the front, water bottle here, this is the one I drink from. When it gets low, just pour from the other ones or swap them out if I need to. And we've got the uh, Garmin inReach on the shoulder, easy to access, tripod easy to access for the phone. And that's my pack.